I'm on the road again and the weather is shit. We've got sleet, we've got rain, we've got fog. But don't you worry because it's time for another vlog. <laughs> Hello you lovely people, I uh, hope all is cool. Uh, today uh, doing another vlog, uh, going up to Aston Villa training ground and I'm going to see uh, John Terry. Um, John Terry, what? What a player. Um, I think he's one of the world's greatest ever centre backs ever to play the game of football. Um, that leads to my question to you guys. I love all the questions, I love all the interaction we have, it's brilliant. Um, my question is for you guys is who's the best ever centre back? It can be anyone, past or present, who is the best ever centre back? Let me know down below. JT's actually been on this channel uh, a little bit actually because he was one of the first guys uh, to kindly do uh, the golf stuff with us. Golf life, it's the only way I know. Golf life, when you get it in the hole. Did I go too early? <laughs> <laughs> and um, one of the things we did was a thing called uh, Catch Me If You Can. Um, I'll put the link to the video actually down below so if you haven't checked it out, check it out. But basically what it was is I wore a baseball mitt, uh, a cricket helmet, and I went down the driving range um, and I had to catch one of his uh, shots. But he was using I think it was like a 7-iron, so I was like halfway on the driving range. So when we did that and then he caught mine as well, he went, right, geez, get right down the other end of the uh, driving range, I'm going to use a driver. So I went down about I think probably 220, 250 yards, right down the other end of the uh, driving range and tried to catch uh, one of John Terry's drives. Um, we've never shown it on the channel until now because I'm going to show it here. Enjoy. What are we going, driver? Yeah, do it, do it, yeah. yeah. Call it John. Whoa! <laughs> oh, it's decent. It's decent. It's decent. It's decent. <laughs> That's out of the ballpark. Oh, that's the one. There you go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. Go on, that's the one. Oh, no. Oh. Come on, mate, this one. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. Oh, no. <laughs> no. I had it in my hands. There you go. That's the one. Come on. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> unlucky, unlucky. Oh, tree! <laughs> she ain't getting that. That's out of the ballpark. That's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. It's Gotta good, be the one. Good, it's good. Gotta be. Oh no, I've misjudged it again. <laughs> Absolute roastman power there. Right, I'm gonna call it now. Two balls and we've Pre got it. Pre season galore. Ah. There you go. Go on. Ooh. Come on. Come on. Yay! Yes! Yes! Come on! First 
son! Yes! <laughs> Catch me if you can. Uh, so that was a little bit of golf life. It's the only life I know. Golf life. When you get it in the hole. Uh, but now, on to football. Right, fill up. Here I come. Sorry, one more thing. Uh, sorry if I'm boring you, but I'll have to say it. Uh, it's not about football or golf. Uh, it's about boxing. Uh, Tyson Fury last weekend. Unbelievable. What a performance to come back from, you know, what he's gone through. And it was absolute domination. And Deontay Wilder has really quite embarrassed himself, blaming the suit that he came out with. Uh, he said it wore, wore down his legs and he didn't get beaten up, he didn't get hurt. Uh, you did. Um, that annoyed me a little bit. But um, Beef told me, oh, name drop, woo, Beef. Uh, but Beef did tell me when I did the um, four hole challenge with him, he said that Tyson Fury plays golf. I love Tyson Fury on. That'd be amazing to get him on the golf course. Um, who would you like to see me do the four hole challenge with? Um, let me know and I will try and sort it. Cheers, guys. Bye. Sunny now. It was snowing a minute ago. And here we are. Here we are. This is where the magic is happening today. Aston Villa Media Centre. And here we go. This is where Dean. This is where Dean Smith does his uh, press conferences. That's where JT will be sat. That's where I'll be sitting. And here are the boys, Gagey. <laughs> How's it going? I'm not taking part in this. How much do you love working with me? I'm not taking part in this. <laughs> I refer all questions to my lawyer. And there is Stewie Middleton. Hello, welcome to the press conference. <laughs> <laughs> love these boys. There they are. Gagey, seriously, how much do you love working with me? Make it finish. <sighs> what a legend. <laughs> right, just come out to the car. Bit of an apple break just while we wait for uh, JT. My footballing heroes growing up were Gianfranco Zola, Super Frankie Lampard, and actually John Terry. I wonder who John Terry's heroes were. I'm going to go and find out. You're not going to shut the door. You know. your first footballing hero growing up who'd you look up to i loved um again england players at that time would have been like brian robson tony adams players that that played with their heart on their sleeve and kind of give everything would kind of throw their face and their bodies in front of balls and to stop it in and and kind of drove other players around them as well i love to see that as a youngster and it was them two kind of really stick out for me so interview done thought it went really well but more importantly what did alex gage think alex Gagey, how did I do? <laughs> Gagey, yeah, did I do? Don't make me swear. How was it for you? You know what, technically it was fun. <laughs> Camera work. How did I do? <laughs> how did I do? I'm not your agent. <laughs> Thank you very much, Aston Villa Football Club. Tubes, another interview. How do you think it went? I really enjoyed it today. Uh, thought I set my stall out well. Um, sat on a chair, didn't you? Yeah, I sat my chair out. And um, really interesting to hear that May United tried to snap him up before he joined Chelsea. Didn't know that. I didn't um, know that either. Yeah, that, that would have changed everything, wouldn't it? You but, look like Sean Dyche. What? You look like Sean Dyche. <laughs> Look it off. <laughs> Thank you. No more questions, Your Honour. He does say Your Honour. <laughs> what? Oh. Right, it's Alex Gage. Oh, <laughs> what did you say, Alex Gage? I said you don't have to say Your Honour at the end of a press conference. <laughs> You're not in court, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a smile from Alex Gage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>